What's up everybody, Poke Chaos here, back for some more Pokemon TCG Online. Today we have the Sky Guardian Fates Collide deck that we're going to be using. This is the one based off of Lugia. Uh, this, I'm not sure which one's better yet. Lugia's attack's effect isn't going to matter too much in the run of, uh, you know, is it... It's not going to do 120 to anything because there's no EXs in the theme deck format. But we're going to go ahead and jump into a game. If you guys have been enjoying this series of me playing with the theme decks, make sure to hit the like button. If you guys enjoy seeing more TCG online content, uh, make sure to subscribe as well. I do have another deck. I have a, a standard deck that I want to use with some cards based on... Well, with an EX from Fates Collide, not one that you may have seen yet because it's not super competitive, but still a deck that I wanted to try out. So it's been, it's been a bit since the release of Fates Collide, so I'm not necessarily going to go up against everybody testing their Fates Collide decks right now, which is nice. They get some variety. Uh, we have Snubble, we have Jigglypuff, we have Cottony. I'm going to put Jigglypuff out. Jigglypuff seems to be able to do the best in this situation. And we'll put those guys on the bench. Kind of sucks that I didn't get any of my colorless heavy hitters. There's Lugia, there's Kangaskhan, there's Snorlax. And I haven't seen this deck in so long that a lot of these cards look different to me. It is a black and white deck. So well, pretty much all these cards that you'll see aren't available in standard format anyways. Um... That thing can confuse me, which is a problem, especially because Jigglypuff only does a maximum of 20 damage. But we'll go ahead and use Tierno, see what I can get. Nothing useful. If I could get out that Delphox, I would be in good shape. But I gotta have Fennekin and Brakeson to be able to do that. So we'll see what happens. He's gonna... Okay, so he just flips two coins, so it's possible he does 10, possible he does 20, possibly he does nothing. And he gets the 20 damage, which is nice for him. Uh, so we got Whimsicott here, which isn't helpful because I need a fairy energy for it. So I don't know, we're just going to go back and forth. We both have 70 HP. We both can do up to 20 damage. He may have something good here. Well, he's got a Jigglypuff of his own, of course, being that it's a 5th gen deck. Uh, or it was a deck made during 5th gen. It's not really a 5th gen deck because it's, uh, it's a TCGO deck. So let's see what we get. What do we get? A fairy energy. So I can put that on Whimsicott. I can heal off my damage with Pokemon Center Lady, and I can use Rollout. So this is a somewhat common occurrence when it comes to theme decks, is that you have kind of a stall. Uh, his Wigglytuff is kind of powerful. Hopefully I can get something good here. We have Brakeson. Not something good, really. So that Wigglytuff's going to come out and destroy my Jigglypuff's life. We do have the Kangaskhan, which, if I can build it up, can do 100 damage. Probably take out anything in the Rallying Cry deck on its own. Except now, Wigglytuff has 120 HP. 
But that's fine. He confuses me, but I go down anyway, so... Doesn't matter. We'll play Whimsicott here. Now, Lugia as well. Lugia actually is probably the better Pokemon for me to use. Oh. Okay, never mind. That works. That worked exactly how I was expecting it to work. Although, in reality, Wigglytuff has 110 HP. Lugia only does 60, meaning I can't take it out in one hit, which is kind of unfortunate. Wait, what? Oh, it's asleep. I thought it was an attack that confused me, not put me to sleep. Uh, so I know Whismer has round, the Loudred itself doesn't have round. And Caitlyn. <laughs> I'm yawning. I'm not tired, I'm just yawning for whatever reason. I don't know why. Okay, so Wimscott goes down. Wimscott did its job. Only could have done 10 more damage. Would have done its job a little bit better. But we can maybe start building up Delphox, now that I have the Fennekin. Uh, also, Lugia does only take 20, just take 20 last damage, so with Wigglytuff, although Wigglytuff can put me to sleep, it also will only do 40 instead of 60. It does get heads. I also get heads, so I wake up. We're gonna play breaks in and I'm I, I want to keep the other spot on my bench open I don't feel the need to play uh, the wimp the, the cottony so another thing is that the chatot can confuse me which is a problem didn't confuse me it could also uh, it also has 70 HP, is what I was trying to say. Which... is a problem. Problem being that I can't knock it out in one turn. And of course, decks don't really have Muscle Band or Giovanni Scheme. So... We don't need to know that I'm confused. I'll try to attack. I do get the heads which allows me to attack instead of hurt myself in confusion. And I'm now winning the prize battle. If only I had a way to get some energies onto Delphox. We'd actually be pretty good. Uh, that does 20 damage to me, so it does 20 times the number of heads. We are getting some energies, and I'm still going to attempt to attack because... Potential damage is better than no damage at all. And I believe if the king is gone... No, I think it would need all four heads in order to take me out. I still have 60 HP. If it were to get all four heads, it would do 80 damage minus the 20. So this deck actually shares some common Pokemon with the deck I'm up against. We both have Kangaskhan, we both have Whismur and Loudred. We both have Meowth. Obviously we both don't have Lugia. Uh, Wigglytuff. It probably isn't going to get used. And I am able to take out the Kangaskhan. I've been, been extremely lucky with the coin flips on Lugia. And Delphox, once I get another energy, it'll do 20 times the amount of all energy. So I would do quite a bit to everybody right now. Well, to anybody. 
And instead of letting my Lugia potentially go down, we're just going to retreat him out for Delphox. And use Psystorm. That was 140 damage for uh, 7 energies in play. And that's the game. So we'll try one more. Maybe I'll get that EV Umbreon prize if I can win another game. I haven't really played too much. This starts at 21 days. I played the very first day and then I haven't played since. Uh, I, sometimes I'm just busy doing other things. Sometimes I forget to play. Sometimes I just don't want to play. So this guy's using the XY basic green deck. If I get lucky and I can start with like Fennekin... I might be at a somewhat advantage. He's actually letting me go first for whatever reason. Well, I start with Lugia. So that's something. That's a good thing, I would say. Especially because I do have the Professor's Letter, meaning I can get any energy I need. Uh, Lugia does take less damage. And although 60 doesn't one-hit most things... It still is a pretty decent attack. It should take out anything in two hits, barring uh, Chestnut. And I can get quite a few cards out of my deck right now. I can get two energies. I can play the Meowth. I play the Tierno to get three more energy or three more cards, I should say, not energies. And Ultra Ball. Eh, I guess we can Ultra Ball the Whimsicott and Shauna for Fennekin. I was just making sure that I had Breaks and Andel Fox both in my deck. And that's a good starting point. So we'll just see, we'll see what he does. Again, I'm just going to build up Lugia. I can't really do it any faster than an energy per turn. And at this point, I don't want to get rid of my hand for any reason, which is why when I used the Ultra Ball, I got rid of Shauna, because I want to keep enough energies to power Lugia up, and then potentially power up Fennekin as well. So that just allows them to search for any basic Pokemon. We'll leave the bench open for Whismur. Oh, to not put Whismur on there, because we already have one. And I could get Snorlax or Kangaskhan or the other Lugia. He decides to switch. I understand the point of Doduo. In the sense that it doesn't go down in one hit. He's also trying to power up his Tropius. But I'm okay with that. You can't really do a whole lot to me. I mean, granted, Fennekin by itself only does 10 damage, 20 with weakness. I'm, I'm still okay. I'm still in a good position. At this point, I really don't need more energies. But you can do potential 60 damage to me. Which I guess does take me out in two hits. So I could use Breaks in right now. Not another Fennekin. Play the energy pouch here. We'll hit you for 60. Uh, Tail Whip, if... if Heads, the defending Pokemon can't attack next turn. Uh, not great. And you, of course, have a potion. So I don't want to rely on possibly getting the breaks in right here. Obviously, I didn't. 
Wigglytuff can do some damage. Not a whole lot, but something. And Tropius doesn't take Wigglytuff out in one hit. So I guess we do have to do a bit of a prize trade. But I guess it's okay. We'll use this just to get some cards out of the deck. We can get... I'll get Snorlax and Lugia. Throw them onto the bench so my bench isn't super full. During your opponent's next turn, any damage done to this Pokemon sack. Okay. So it means that instead of it doing 80, it'll do 50. And I can attach another energy to Wigglytuff, use Double Slap. Or not, because that's my luck, is that my opponent always gets something. We have Kangaskhan. Not really all that helpful. And now I have to rely on getting double heads. Of course it doesn't happen. Because why would it? Um... Not in the best position. The ba the XY basic decks are a lot better than like every other deck out there. So we'll play Fennekin, maybe get Breakson. Of course not. <sighs> okay. I'm gonna play an energy on Lugia. I'm gonna go ahead and tail whip for the stall tactics. Because that's my best bet. Stall, possibly get breaks in this next turn. Nope, doesn't matter because he's just got the stupid Quillet in. They can send out right away. Because the basic decks are built better than theme decks. We have Moltres, who can do 40 to any uh, any grass Pokemon. Lugia is only going to take 50 for Woodhammer. Which means it takes three hits to knock out Lugia. And of course, there's the breaks in. One turn, and I would have had the breaks in that would have been able to do 30, which would have been 60. Now I don't really want to power it up. I mean, Delphox does a bit of damage. Does 40 for one, which is 80 to anything on his bench. Or, not on his bench, but 80 to anything he has out. I don't need to use Wally, but you know what? Let's just get out a Loudred. At this point, I can. Well, I might as well leave Lugia in. Don't let Delphox take unnecessary damage. He has to send out Tropius. He has to be able to get rid of Lugia, so he has to send out Tropius. So I am. Down some prizes. I have four more to get. Uh, doesn't matter. No. He has 80 HP. I was say, unless you're not weak to fire somehow, really doesn't matter. So, 80 damage. It isn't a, a flip effect for the sleep. So useful there, yes, and it's second attack, Psy Strike, Psy Storm, doesn't matter what kind of energies are on the field, just matters that there's energies on the field. So I can play Fairy Energies to him, use Psy Storm, take him out for 160 damage, and at this point I have the game won.
none of his Pokemon can do anything. He can do 140 damage at least. And he just has to send them out to take damage. He can use Scrunch, which he didn't. Psy Storm, 120. So yeah, think that I'm good on this one. It's a little bit, uh, not necessarily a little bit longer than what I would have liked. I try to get these to be at least 20 minutes. We'll attach another energy just for the fun of it. And Psy Storm for 200 damage. Wins me the game, even though I was behind a bit in the beginning. Still get the win and... That's going to be it for this episode. Um, if you guys enjoyed the video, again, make sure to hit the like button. Make sure to subscribe as well. Uh, both Sky Guardian and Battle Ruler, I think, are very good decks. Uh, if, especially if you can get out the starter. If you can get out Delphox. If you can get out Superior. You're going to do really good. Uh, Lugia's an okay card. Zygarde's a little bit better. Zygarde actually does 120 four, three energies, but Lugia does take 20 less. So, I don't know, let me know in the comments which of the two decks you think is better, and I will see you guys all next time. Bye!